Welcome to Eagle Complete Course. After you understand how to make a PCB design using Eagle, and also how to make 3D design using Fusion 360, in this video, we're going to learn more about Eagle manufacturing file. These files are used when we want to print out our PCB design. There are two types of manufacturing file we're going to learn, the Gerber file and the Drill file. In this video, we will focus more on the Gerber file. Gerber file was initially developed by a company with the name of Gerber. Gerber format currently refers to a widely accepted standard PCB industry software sticks to. It capable of describing circumstances of board images, such as conductor layers, solder mask layers, and even legion layers. Printed circuit boards are designed in a specialized EDA, Electronic Design Automation, or a CAD, Computer Aided Design System, that further generate board manufacturing data based on which circuit board fabrications are commenced. PCB manufacturers won't fully understand all details of a PCB design file unless Gerber format file is contained in it as reference and guidelines. The PCB manufacturer requires specific information pertaining to each step in the manufacturing process of your board. This special information is described in files containing plot and or drilling information. For example, one file for each signal layers, for the silk screen, for the solder stop mask, the cream frame, for a gold application, for a glue mask, or for milling data regarding cutouts in the board. Gerber format file is applied to describe design requirement of each image of a circuit board and it can be applied for both bare board fabrication and PCB assembly. When it comes to bare board fabrication, Gerber format is called for by both standard photo plotters and other manufacturing equipment desiring image data like legend printers, direct imagers or AOI, automated optical inspection equipment, etc. Put it simply, Gerber format files have to be depended from beginning to the end of PCB fabrication process. Gerber files do play a crucial role as a connector and translator between PCB design engineers and PCB manufacturers, enabling design engineers' considerations and concept to be understood by manufacturers so that correct and reliable products can be effectively and efficiently manufactured. Now, I'm going to show you how to generate Gerber files in Autodesk Eagle. Now, we're going to open our PCB design in the PCB layout editor. Before you generate the Gerber file, check all the connection of your PCB. Once you're satisfied with your PCB design, we can click the file menu here on the top bar and select CAM processor. The CAM processor export data by default in Gerber RS274X format. Drill data in Excellent. The precisions and units can be set directly in the CAM processor window. Clicking onto one of the entries in the output file list changes the preview and settings option accordingly. For common layer setup, Eagle chooses the correct job template for creating files. Activate the export as zip option for a compressed data archive. In doing so, 
you will have one archive that contains all data for the board manufacturer. The checkbox negative polarity inverts the Gerber output. This is done by default. For example, for the solder stop mask output files. All cam jobs that were used with previous versions can be used as well. By right-clicking onto the legacy entry in the list, offers options to load such a cam job. Process job creates all the data listed in the output file list. Okay, so for the profile, here we're going to change it a little. Select the Layers menu, scroll down, and choose Dimensions. Then click OK. After you're done, now click the Process Job button to generate the Gerber file. It will lead you to your repository. After you edit its name, you can click Save. Now you can close this CAM processor window. If you take a look at your repository, you will have the zip file here which contains all of your Gerber files. Since Eagle doesn't have a Gerber viewer, we will inspect our Gerber file using PCBWay Online Gerber Viewer. We're going to move to Browser and search PCBWay Online Gerber Viewer. So, we will drag and drop our zip file in the box they provide. Now, you can see your Gerber file here. This is the top side and this is the bottom side. You can turn on and turn off each layer to see all the layers in your PCB. If you found something wrong in your design, you have to edit your PCB design in the Eagle Layout Editor, then generate the Gerber file again and repeat all the process until you're sure with your design and it's ready to be printed.